diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds. And here with me today, I have one of these diamonds in the rough. Uh, his name is Jalen Porter. He's an edge rusher out of East Tennessee State. Uh, nice to have you, sir. Thank you for having me. So um, uh, one thing that uh, that uh, ETS is, you has been doing these past few years, man, is um, uh, racking up a ton of wins, uh, putting up a, a lot of, uh, you know, great you know success and uh giving guys a run for their money uh which yeah. has been fun um but uh dude before we get talking about some more about uh you and your program um give me some of your background if you don't mind tell me where you're from and uh how you got to your university uh originally i'm from a small town called uh, paris tennessee uh then i moved to nashville all the way up until i was probably in seventh grade, and then I went to Gallatin High. Uh, from Gallatin High, uh, I went to East Tennessee. Um, I was getting recruited by, you know, co I met Coach Billy Taylor. Uh, coach Sanders came up to the school one time, our, our old head coach. And uh, the coach that's at, uh, the head coach that's at Tennessee Tech now, he was the, re the recruiting scout for uh, East Tennessee, but he left and went to uh, Tennessee Tech. So that's who was recruiting me from uh, East uh, for East Tennessee. Nice. So, um, uh, so more or less got yourself situated there at at uh, ETSU, but um, I kind of want to fill in the blanks a little bit there because you said you went to Gallatin uh, High School. Um, so, um, talk to me about you as an athlete there at um, you know, you know, back in high school. Um, maybe if you played any other positions or any other sports that you want to share. Uh, actually, in high school, uh, I played. I did football. Uh, I ran track for three years, actually. And uh, in high school, I played running back. Uh, yeah, I played running back uh, longer than I did defense. And I, I started to like defense more than uh, playing running back around my junior year. So I just stuck with playing uh, defense. So then from there, I went to college as a uh, as a as a linebacker, and that's where I've been ever since. Interesting. So um, I guess maybe if we got to use you uh, as a fullback nowadays, I mean, would you be interested in doing that? Like, um, you know, uh, moving actually, forward in, or college, what? Uh, in college, uh, I had practice with the offense before for a package, but they never put it in the game. So, yeah, I could do it if, if needed. Well, I mean, I just know that there are guys um, that, you know, when they transition to the next level, um, sometimes coaches say, Hey, we could take this guy maybe in like a short, short yardage goal line situations and put him out there, maybe as a fullback or a blocker or anything. Because I mean, I know you're a big dude that you can, you know, you got some experience there in the backfield, you know, and right. you have an understanding of like maybe where the play is going to, you know, has to go. So, what, why the hell not? Right. Just, uh, right get a guy out there who you can utilize but um dude obviously uh if they recruit you as as a running back there at etsu it's very competitive um have a lot of uh you know great talented guys uh come out of there recently at that spot so of course right. they ended up moving you to uh edge rusher which um done a pretty good job of um you had also uh mentioned that you did track uh in high school which I think that that's kind of interesting, a guy that ran. Because, um, dude, um, what are you at about? You're at about 250 pounds right now, ain't you? Yeah, at the, t at the time in high school, I was probably like 215, too. I wasn't as heavy and big <laughs> as I was. I wasn't as big as I was now and have all this muscle on me. So back then, I could move a, a little faster than I, than I was now. I actually participated in the 4x1, the 4x2, the 100, and the 200. So... So, um, you know, when you think about a guy who's more or less uh, gained about 35 plus pounds uh, over the past uh, five years or more, um, dude, how does that happen? I mean, it, I mean, I know for me, I mean, like I gained like the freshman 30, um, but, right. you know, uh, I, it wasn't like a healthy way of doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, but oh, tell me, you, tell me how you, how you did it. 
Uh, well, uh, when I got to college, uh, the inside linebacker coach, he, was, uh, he told me, he was, uh, you're bigger than what I thought you were. So that's when I had moved to, actually moved me around to a few other positions. And then they moved me to, uh, you know, rushing uh, the QB. So then it was like, we need you to get bigger. So really, uh, I just got in uh, well, the uh, weight room process helped me out as well, but I had to eat more than I really wanted to. So I would go to the grocery store, uh, just cook, actually cook my meals, actually. And uh, that's, I, that's just how I put weight on, eating a little later, letting uh, the food sit on me and just working out and eating really. We're doing it in a healthy way, not no, not just eating no, all kinds yeah, of crazy not stuff. not just like gorging on something and like you know sitting, uh, watching some TV and eat, you know eating a bag of chips or something. I mean, that's yeah, right. not what you need to be doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but hey, Jalen, um, you you found your way there at ETSU. Um, uh, tell me just a little bit about that program, about that uh, university, even because I know, um. Uh, you were very, uh, I guess, adamant about your studies there as well. So tell me what you did there as a student first. Uh, as a student, uh, I graduated. Uh, I was, I did, I was into dental hygiene. Then I changed my, my major to criminal justice. So I got a, my, uh, I got a degree in criminal justice. I was also working on my master's for criminal justice there. But I came on out and I didn't, I didn't get my master's, but I got credits towards my master's. So. I got my education there, so I'm not too much complaining. And I'm the type of person I take my my studies way more important than football. My coaches they knew that as well. So interesting. So uh, criminal justice major is kind kind of interesting. I mean, uh, have you thought about maybe what you might do with that uh, major, that degree? Like maybe once football's all done. Uh, as of right now, I'm not really too. Uh, with that, I'm not too too much focused on it right now. But uh, like you said, when, whenever you know God tells me you know to hang the cleats up, then uh, I focus on you know getting into that field. But as of right now, I'm just all I'm all in on this football stuff. Right. right well, I'm just saying, if football isn't there, what is it gonna do? I mean, are you gonna get into the FBI or something? I mean, what's the uh, what What do you think you might do? Honestly, right now I don't know. It's a lot of different things you can do in that field. Actually, once you look into it, so. Really, wherever God places me in that field, man, I can't really, you know, pinpoint it right now what I do. It's a lot of different things you can get yourself into. Well, that's all right. I mean, dude, obviously right now you're focused on football. That's certainly like, you know, where you're, uh, you know, honed in on right now. And I completely right. understand that. I mean, uh, you certainly got to be train, training yourself up and, and getting yourself uh, right to go out and perform in front of these scouts. Um right. Uh, talk to me a, a, about uh, y'all's defense as a whole. Um, I know, uh, you know, there's a lot of great talented people there, uh, but talk to me about y'all's defense and how you've been utilized uh, over the past several years. Uh, the defense, man, is competitive, man. To, to, to play defense at ETSU, you got to be a dog, man. It, it wasn't easy getting on the field. Uh, I had to fight for my spot, man. I had an older guy in front of me. Uh, and I had to just I had to fight my tail off, man, to 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 get that starting position. Uh, there was a lot of older guys that were still there when I came in as a freshman. Like a fifth, a lot of fifth year seniors were still there. A lot of guys that you know I, I knew, like okay, I'm gonna have to lock in. I'm not a big talker, anyways. Like I really don't say too much. So I knew, like okay, let me focus and let me learn this playbook. And once I learned the playbook, uh, I actually played a little bit of nose guard in the bitch packages as well so yeah I mean, <laughs> yeah I got I that's why I got majority of my sacks from in, in my college actually career was playing a little bit of nose doing a bush packaging uh it was fun playing uh defense for ETSU you had a lot like you said there's a lot of talent there so you know you know the guy beside you he was going to do his job just as well as you were and uh if you know we was having a bad game or the defense wasn't clicking as it should as quick as it should have been we we would lift each other up and then we'll we'll get rolling. But overall, uh, it was a good defense to play for. Uh, the defensive coordinator, Coach Taylor, man, he's he draws up good plays, good blitz, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna make sure everybody's doing their job. So nice. So uh, and kind of like I was alluding to earlier, um, dude, I don't know exactly what an NFL team would do with you, to be quite honest. Um, whether that be to um, you know, put you out there like in in a four three edge 
as an edge rusher, uh, maybe stand you up uh, on, on the outside as a Sam, or maybe even bring you inside as a middle linebacker in a, in a three, four, but certainly uh, a, a chess piece uh, to move around and to utilize as a pass rusher. Um, but what do you feel is the, the one thing that sets you apart uh, from everybody else as a prospect? I said my toughness, man. I'm just, uh, you move me around, I can make plays. Let me just, uh, just let me learn to play. Let me get, let me get the playbook down, whichever position I'm in. And uh, I'm there, man. I'm, I'm just a, a dog. I'm willing to do whatever for the team. man. Like, I, as I told you, I was playing nose guard and I was also making plays there at 250. Uh, and I played outside linebacker, you know, Patrick. So I just think, uh, God blessed me to play this game, man. And I feel like that's what sets me apart is my mindset, my hunger and my passion for the game. Nice. Um, well, uh, again, uh, at, there at ETSU, uh, a lot of talented guys, man. I mean, I, when I think about like, um, what you guys have been able to uh, put together, uh, recently, um, actually think about like, I want to say it was the, wasn't it the COVID season? you guys um really had a strong run in in the playoffs was that um am, am i remembering that correctly where you guys were... yeah it was doing it was right after that uh spring season it was right after that because we had played in the spring and also we had played again during the regular uh regular season as well yeah well um i was just gonna just gonna say man talk about that run dude because i mean I was really uh pulling for you guys during that whole, whole stretch there because you guys were uh you know, getting deep in the playoffs and uh, really surprising a lot of people with, with some wins. And um, one thing uh, also about that program is, dude, y'all know how to run the damn ball. Uh, so a lot of impressive guys around you. Um, talk about some of your teammates. Uh, we, a lot of my teammates, man, like it, it was, like you said, it was a lot of, you got Jacob Taylor, Craig Holmes, they running the ball. You know, you got some other guys that you probably don't hear about, like Bryson Irby. Uh, Trey Foster, but you know, in practice, man, one versus ones went at each other. It was, it was, hey, man, it, it, it was crazy. Uh, it's very competitive. Uh, you know, really, uh, the running backs that that you know of, Clay Holmes, Jake Sears, they didn't talk a lot. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say much. It was really to themselves. Uh, but you know, when they got on the football field, they just ran the ball hard, real hard. You know what I'm saying? They might say a little something here and there, but nothing too crazy, nothing too much. But, you know, like when they back there, okay, nine times out of ten, they, we, we handled the ball off in practice. And like the other teams for the opponents, they knew it was running the ball. Everybody in, this, everybody in the stadium knew what we was doing, running the ball. So it was just like, could you stop it? Nine times out of ten, they couldn't just because, like, the guys we had in the backfield. And they was a good team as good guys to, to be around. Uh, we had a good O-line that year, Tremont Shorts. Uh, he has to transfer to uh, LSU uh, right after that season. Uh, but yeah, man, we had it was a lot of guys they had on the offense on the O line that was good that you could take your hat off to them as well. It wasn't just a running back doing anybody. So we had a lot of good guys up front. Uh, Nate Atkins, he's at uh, he's at North Carolina right now, I believe. Uh, one of the best tight ends. He was in SoCon, but he transferred to go be with his dad. It was a lot of guys to, uh, that came together to make that that uh, that year the way it was to go off in the playoffs as long as our defense. Uh, Tyree Robertson. Uh, Ronda Lynch, Donovan Manuel, uh, Elijah Huzzy. It was just a lot of guys on that team that year that was just, you know, the talent was, was just crazy. And it wasn't just the talent, it was, the, it was the, the ambition and the hard work that they put in and the love they had for the game as well. So that was a good, it was a good team that year. It was a good team, camaraderie, good people to be around on and off the field. Awesome. Uh, certainly uh, gives you a little bit of uh, like an old school feel there on the offense and, um, uh, kind of aggressive uh, on on the uh, on on the defensive side of things. Uh, very solid on the back end as well. There, you know, at, at ETSU for several seasons. So, um, what are your what are some of your uh, I guess personal like best moments, memories, or highlights? Like when you think about some of those games or plays, um, uh, give me one that sticks out the most for you. I had uh, believe it was four. Four, four or five sacks in one game, and uh, I think I had seven tackles. Uh, that was that was one of the best moments. Uh, my college career it was like uh, I'm doing this on a college level to have that many sacks in the game. And I think I tied the school record that game for the most sacks in one game. And uh, it was that year. It was uh, starting off that year, I believe. Uh, it was it was just 
everything was happening for me quick. I was getting a lot of sacks, a lot of tackles for loss. It was just, I was out there having fun, man. And that was that was just my highlight moment. Uh, that game was just, uh, and then another one when I when I got a, uh, I think it was my sophomore year. I got a I got a sack against Vanderbilt. That one felt pretty good as well when we played them. So, and then also we of beat, course that we, one feels good, man. Yeah, we beat Vanderbilt. Uh, we beat Vanderbilt one year too. I believe it was two years ago. We we had beat Vanderbilt. That for that felt real good beating uh, SEC school. I think it feels good because I mean. People think, hey, this is the SEC. It's the bigger school um, there in, in Tennessee. But uh, nah, nah, nah. You guys got to go out there and uh, give it to them. So, right. Yeah, man, um, they, they they the same as us, man. They believe how we be. They put their pads on, how we put our pads on. They just had a bigger football program, a bigger Division One school. So. Well, um, hey, it, it's nice to talk about those memories. But um also want to get to know this uh, Jalen Porter guy outside of football a little bit. So uh, tell me something about yourself that maybe not everybody knows, um, uh, whether your interests or personal hobbies or uh, anything else that you want to share. Uh, like I said before, I'm very quiet. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't really say too much. Uh, even on the field, I'm just, I just, I just play the game, but like off the field, uh, I'm a, I'm a big movie guy. I like to go out, I like to travel. I like to be around my loved ones, my friends. Uh, just uh, I just I'm just I just like to do like I like to try different things, man. I like to get out of my comfort zone and just really enjoy life, man. Really just be around the people who loves me and like I said, just enjoy life, man. Just have fun while while, while you're here on earth, really. Cool. So being a movie guy, uh, what are some of your favorite movies or do you have like a favorite genre of movies or if you if you have like a couple fa couple favorites to share? Uh I like uh, uh I like the the longest yard. Uh I'm I'm a big fan of the equalizer movie with Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington is my favorite actor. Uh well, he's, I he's like the one of the goats, yeah. man. I mean, there's a lot of good ones, but I mean he's every yeah. damn thing he's in is great. So. No, yes, it's, it's a hit. I'm a uh, also I like the Creed movie, the boxing ones with Michael B. Jordan. Uh, I like uh, I like horror films. I like the, the soft films. Uh, well, I'm in the I'm in a romance a little bit, but nothing too crazy. I like the Notebook, I like the Notebook. Uh, that one's a little embarrassing to admit to, but I mean, I, yeah, I, I, uh, that's all right. <laughs> I um, think I think everybody like that. That I think everybody's seen that movie and you know liked it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't really. I'm There's really a couple rom coms that I could say that yeah, that was a pretty good movie. I mean, yeah. I, no, I, 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 I hear you. Yeah. As a movie, it's good, but you know, uh, it was a good, pretty good movie. But yeah, that's that's just a little by myself. Uh, so, family oriented guy as well. I like to be around my family. So, um, uh, one thing that I'm trying to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, make out though in the picture there. I mean, you got a a, a dog on your hat. Are you a, a big dog guy or what? Uh, what that is? Uh, this just. Uh, did fashion, you just, did you like, did, you, did you, you just you throw that on before the interview? And, uh, no, actually, uh, I wore this. Uh, I just uh, had this on for for the day, actually. Uh, but this is a this is a this uh, brand right here starting to pop. It's like a popular brand. Uh, but yeah, man. I, I well, if you was in the fashion, you would know like. You know, hats like this are starting to become a thing. But all right, well, I'm not. <laughs> as you can see, I'm not. So yeah, I mean, ain't um, no wrong with it, man. Ain't no wrong with it. It's just something I just do. I had a little Nike Tech fit on, just do a hat on. That's it. Nothing well, crazy. cool. Well, I mean, I, you know, obviously you have a little bit more fashion sense than me, so that's okay. <laughs> um, uh, tell me about your hometown, real quick. I mean, um, uh, you know, again, um, Tennessee guy bounced around a little bit, but I mean. Uh, what's so special about your hometown? Uh, you want to talk about Gallatin or, or or Paris, where I was originally from? Take your pick. Uh, well, man. I mean, Paris, man, is a small town, country town, man. And I don't really the livestock is known for the world's biggest fish fry, number football, like literally, like you talk about a town that like breeds football. That's a town. Then I moved, went to Nashville for a little bit, came to Gallatin High, and uh, it's. It's kind of just like the same, you know, football, just a football town. The Alton is, re is really quiet. Uh, but not a really, not really too many people from Gallatin, you know, uh, really uh, go too far with, with sports. So it's just 
it's just good to be in this position and uh, be blessed to be on this path that I'm in and just thank God that I'm in this position to be in this opportunity, man. Uh, it's a small city, a small little town. Everybody knows everybody. Um, well, certainly yeah, the, like the path that you're on right now, buddy, is leading you towards the pros. Um, and before you get there, um, you got a pro day that you got to get right. So um, uh, we were talking that um, I want to say you're, you and a few of your teammates are going to go to the Tennessee pro day. Um, so um, uh, talk to me about maybe some of your personal goals um, as to what you're um, you know, trying to prove to some scouts out there. Uh, right now, uh, I'm I'm still like I said I'm in Atlanta right now. I'm training. Uh, some things we're just working on right now is, is speed, acceleration, uh, getting uh the first ten yards of the forty, uh, the L drill, jumping, broad bench press. Uh, my goal is just to go out there and show them, man. Like just because I I was at a smaller Division One school doesn't mean I'm no better than these other guys who's at bigger programs. You know, I can do the same thing they can do, uh, and just show like uh I. Can, I can play this game, man. That's that's all I'm trying to prove is that I can run, I can jump, uh, that I can do it. You know, God gave me the ability to play this game, and I just put my talents to use. That's all I'm I'm trying to show him, man. So just give me a chance. Great. Um. All right, Jalen, let's go ahead and wrap things up. I uh, do appreciate the time spent with you, uh, just kind of learning about you and, and such. But um, I want to give you an opportunity um, – I know you're probably going to end up talking to some scouts at your pro day, but I want you to kind of, I don't know, give all those guys like uh, your pitch right now who might actually be uh, watching this interview um, and tell them why they need to take a chance on you and give you the opportunity at the next level. So uh, go ahead and close us with that. Uh, I'm a hardworking guy. Come in early. Uh, I'm doing, I would do, I would do anything to learn a playbook. Uh, I'm willing to get on special teams, run down the field. Uh, like I say, uh, when it's I don't talk much, but when it's time to speak up and be a leader, I would do that as well. Uh, like I say, I'm willing to do anything to to make the team win, whatever whatever role and position I need to play. I'm gonna play it. Uh, just a hard working guy, man. Uh, on the field, I just I just want to play football and I'll do anything to you know be whoever picks me up. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Cool. Well, definitely a hard-nosed guy who can uh, go out there and get the job done and, and win some games. So, uh, Jalen, wish you best of luck in this process, and uh, you take care, all right, man? All right, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. You have a blessed one. Sure. Once again, uh, Jalen Porter, uh, he's an edge rusher out of East Tennessee State. Uh, check him out.